Good morning, friends. It's Bob again, bringing you another Daily Devo. I want to continue on the theme that we talked about on Sunday morning, and this is the idea of you knowing who you are, especially who you are in Christ. Now, just knowing who you are is a little nebulous. It just feels like, okay, so I, how am I not going to define myself by my talent and by my past and all these different things? And I believe that the, the, what the scripture is actually saying to us is something more substantive than what you, the color of your hair or lack thereof, and all of that, those different character and life qualities and things that you've been through that tend to define us. Now, what the scripture says in terms of what is our, our, our most significant definer is that you are loved. You are loved. You're not cast off. You have a purpose. God knows you. He knows everything about you. He knows the, the intimate details of you. He knows your failures. He knows your successes. He knows everything about you. And you are loved. You matter. You have value because God says you have value. You have value because you're made in his image. You have value because he has shown you the value by by assigning a, a, a price, a, a worth to you. And that is that you are valuable enough for God to rescue you with the blood of his own son. You are that kind of valuable to God. Now, I think that a lot of times, now if you're anything like me, my soul just sort of has this bounce off sort of uh, effect with the with with the love of God that that I uh, it's like yeah yeah Bob okay so yes God loves me and yes that's really good and and yet somehow that's not something that our souls marinate in that we actually sit in long enough for that to secure us one of my friends and one of the elders of our church uh, Tony Turnus continues to say all the time I've been well loved and what I think he means by that is that he actually has been well loved by God, but that that has actually had its effect on him rather than just sort of bounced off or, you know, just had a, a an initial conversion effect. No, no, the love of God is actually supposed to have an effect on us that is permanent and that is ongoing and that is continuous. Uh, and so it's something that we never that we never actually get beyond, that we never stop marinating in. And I use that word intentionally, marinating, because we, we put a piece of meat in marinade and marinate, and over time, if you let it marinate for long enough, it not only flavors the meat, but it breaks down the enzymes in the meat that actually make a, a particular piece of meat tough. And so it actually softens us. It makes us more pliable. It makes us more true humans. And this is God's intent, is that God didn't make you to be an angel. God made you to be a truly human person in the fullest sense of that word, a person who's loved and who moves in a sense and a security of being loved and then also moves into the other people's lives with love because of the security that that love has created in you and me. So I want to say to you honestly today that that this has been something that my soul has been pretty resistant to because I think that uh, I came from an environment, uh, I grew up in an environment where um, my dad really wanted us to perform well. And so, you know, he wanted perfect boys and and I wasn't a perfect boy, but inside uh, of my soul, I, I kind of got this idea that I just got to perform. And if I'm good enough, then, then people will like me. If I'm good enough, then I'll be loved. If I'm good enough, then then somebody will be, uh, will will uh, affirm me and let me know that I'm approved and I'm loved and I'm, I'm secure. The problem with that is that's such a constantly moving target. And you and I, if we're performing for love all the time, you're, it's, it's going to be moving all, all the time. You're always going to be subject to public opinion polls. You're always going to be subject to all these other variables that actually aren't letting you set down, rest in the fact that you're loved. And I want to say to you this morning that you are loved. You're loved by God. God purchased you with the blood of his very own son. But that's something you and I need to agree with.
And when I say agree, I mean that it's one of those things that you actually, I believe, have to start confessing. That's part of it. And that's the only part I'm going to focus on this morning is that you agree with it by confessing, by perhaps a big sigh. Lord, I agree that you love me and that I'm loved greatly. I, You love me and you showed me that by rescuing me in the work of Jesus. Father, you showed me your love by enveloping me in your family. You showed me your love in what you were willing to pay for me. And you begin to confess this love aloud. Now, I'm a verbal processor. Obviously, this works for me uh, in spades. But I want to say to you, whether you're a, wor a verbal processor or you're not, your confession matters. And so if you're like, if you, and I've said this before, you know, I suck, you know, and those, those that's a confession. If that's a confession in an inner script that basically says, I suck, that may, basically means I'm not loved and that love doesn't matter enough to change the inner script that's going on inside of me. I want to ask you today, and I want to ask you every day for the next three, four, I don't know, we said, you know, before that it takes three weeks to build a habit. I've been told since then that actually it takes more like 49 to 50 days to build a habit. So we're exceeding three weeks. I think it's going to take a little bit of time for most of us to get our souls to agree with the love of God, with the truth of that love, and to be able to rest in that love. So we're going to start by simply confessing it to the Lord. Lord, I believe that you love me. I want to ask you to say that and to say that over and over again until you're actually engaging God with that. To be a big sigh, I believe that you love me. I agree with your love for me. Oh, Lord, help me to move in that love and that father, son, that father, daughter, that kind of love that I don't know much about. Confess to the Lord that you don't know it, but you want to. And then agree with it. Confess that you are loved. That's our starting place for today. Thanks so much for joining me. I love you. Walking with you in this. I'm so glad that you decided to join me. God bless you.